Well, there have been a lot of growing pains in the first 40 plus days since cannabis was legalized. One of those is promotion, as the federal rules surrounding advertising are very strict. So much so that one recreational pot retailer has had to readjust their in store ads because they promoted the health benefits of their products. These information cards and board were in Fire and Flower stores in Alberta. They give details about their various products, with some stating how they can improve a person's health. For instance, this one says relieves pain, inflammation and anxiety. This other one claims to have been clinically tested to be a beneficial insomnia aid. The medical industry of cannabis is a whole other, it's a federally regulated industry um, and the recreational side is solely that, that they are not to provide information on the medical use or health benefits of cannabis. Now the AGLC wouldn't comment on these specific advertisements. In a statement to City News, the company says Fire and Flower has worked with the AGLC to address these concerns and have applied changes to our terpene legend and strain cards. Our revised versions are already approved by the AGLC. We have the new strain cards and terpene legends in production and expect them to be in place by next week. We're trying to work together sort of in a partnership and going forward obviously you know once you're sort of told what the rules are and, and there's an understanding then you know probably warnings and then yes fines and then from our perspective it would be um, you would lose your license after a certain period. Now because the advertisement restrictions are so tight for retailers does this make it hard for them to sell their products? At, at this point it doesn't really matter because demand far out strip supply Apply. So we don't really need to build more demand or, or even direct it in certain places. One marketing expert at the University of Alberta says promoting the unproven health benefits of recreational marijuana is risky. If you look at the early days of cigarette advertising, you see claims from companies saying things like these cigarettes will soothe your throat and um, help get rid of that cough and you know things that are really obviously untrue. And so to claim medical benefits for really any kind of regulated product that have yet to be really be tested is you know, a little bit dangerous. Now, according to federal regulations, not only are retailers prohibited from disclosing the health impacts of their products, but they're also not allowed to promote on billboards or even in the front of their stores. This is to protect youth from being exposed to cannabis advertisements. From Edmonton, Cheryl Tasaskew, City News.